Hey guys, I wanted to show you how to rebrand OpenVBX and add your own logo and add your own links at the bottom of the login page. Um, there's other things you can do, many other things you can do to to change OpenVBX. Most of it is in the uh, CSS file, but uh, I'll just show you two things real quick today. And you can get your logo on there, and you can also get those links that don't say Twilio. So the first thing we'll do, what I have here is um, FileZilla. So whatever you use for FTP, just go to your go to your server side of the of the FTP uh, area, and I'm going to find an OpenVBX installation. There it is. So when I open it up, I see all the folders there. First thing we're going to do is uh, change the logo. So let's see if I can remember this. Uh, we need to go to Assets. You'll see OpenVBX folder. We'll go there in a minute. Uh, go to Assets and go to Themes. Go to Default and go to Style CSS. Now, how we're going to, you can do this on your computer. You can also edit this in your cPanel. I tend to just go to uh, my FTP program and I just right click on it and I just do View Edit. PHP files and CSS just open right up. So, okay, now we're in the uh, the theme, the default theme, which probably most of you use. Uh, you can do this with any of the themes, but you'll just want to go down to header here, and it says Open VBX logo, and this is what you'll want to change to your own logo right there. Uh, just upload your logo however you want it. Change the URL there, and uh, it'll show just like um, just like the Twilio one does now. Okay, so that's in the style, in the themes, the default theme style CSS. Okay, now let's change the links at the bottom that don't point to Twilio. We're going to point to our own website or whatever you want to point to. So this time we need to go into OpenVBX and we need to go to Views and let's see, Layout, Views, Layout, Content. Okay, here's all the different content. Here's the footer right there. So the footer.php is going to change your links. So we're going to do view edit and discard the original file. And here it is right here. Let's see if I can make this a little smaller. Okay, so we've got powered by. What I just did was powered by and I put my own website there. So you'll, you just need to change that. Um, I did keep the Twilio.com terms of service, but you can certainly change that URL and the privacy. So, not sure why I, why I did that. I think I just did this on my own for my own purposes because nobody else goes into this installation but me. But certainly change your terms of service if you'd like and your privacy policy. So there's the URL and there's the link uh, text. So that is in uh, the footer PHP in content in views in the open VBX folder. See there's views. I'm going upwards now. And there's the open VBX folder. So that ought to um, just try it and get your own branding there. Now Twilio lets you actually sell open VBX if you want. And you can change you, if somebody you know is really good at uh, CSS they could change all the colors. They can make an entirely new theme for you and uh, you could sell OpenVBX uh, to somebody or uh, you know you could make money installing it for, for a business or whatever but it's totally rebrandable it is um, um, just open for any kind of uh, sale like that so you're free to do what you want so consider at least changing your logo and the footer links uh, in your installation that's all for today hope that helps you